I'm Tom Crabb, president of Orbital Technologies Corporation, Orbitec for short. Orbitec's been doing propulsion and environmental controls and life support systems for many, many years and is advancing toward many products, both in propulsion and life support, for example, for the next generation of commercial space stations that will hopefully fly in the 2015 timeframe. Orbitec started in 1988, long time ago, almost 23 years ago, three people in our houses, so Eric Rice, Ron Teeter, myself, and we evolved from there, developing some technologies. We deployed those technologies, actually uh, bidding against some major aerospace primes to win some space station uh, developments. We did well at those. NASA asked us to do more, so we actually did so well at, at some of the spaceflight hardware that, that NASA did ask us to do more. We evolved into human spaceflight, working on propulsion systems, and now we have products going into the aerospace markets as well as commercial markets on the ground as spin-offs. As a young engineer interested in space, I never thought I'd be sitting here, Madison, Wisconsin, Orbitech, delivering hardware to low Earth orbit and perhaps beyond. Uh, from Wisconsin and Madison. But actually it's quite natural. Uh, the university gives us a broad, broad area of technology to tie into and the agriculture base and the life sciences base also help us with our life support and uh, applications and products. So it actually becomes easier to commercialize products into these many markets having such a broad base of technology here. A lot of the technologies that Orbital Technologies Corporation gets into are, are based on the founder's experience and the knowledge base we have and have perfected over, over years of time. A lot of it's propulsion based and then we get into environmental controls, life support, advanced mission applications uh, for NASA. But that has led us into a lot of commercial spin-offs. For example, in the propulsion area we deal with high pressure flows through a nozzle. All of a sudden we found an application for fire suppression which gave us ultra high pressure fire suppression capabilities that we can put on very, very small vehicles that put out fires in a half the time and one third the water. Uh, we got into environmental controls that got us into how to grow plants and put how to grow protein molecules for plants creating spider silks and, and future pharmaceuticals out of that process. So we don't always choose the, the markets that we get into, uh, we're just following the technologies, the products and the niches. Orbitec's future looks very product oriented. We will have propulsion systems launching in first test vehicles and then being implemented into actual operational vehicles, life support equipment into equipment space stations in low Earth orbit, as well as crew transportation vehicles. Uh, we are looking at our fire suppression equipment being sold. We've already delivered overseas inside the U.S. and expanding internationally as a spin-off of Orbitec and looking at expanding our plant growth and agriculture manufacturing systems into very, very important products such as the structural fibers and the pharmaceuticals. So we see a very product-oriented Orbitec in the future.